Hi, my name is Jan Se. My, my pen name is Wei Ting. I came to the collective probably around September last year. So what does the collective mean to me? Freedom. Freedom to express my thoughts, my feelings, unedited, which I think is very, very healthy for individual to fry. And as an immigrant, as someone who have lived in a community in Vancouver over the past 25 years, this is one of the most uplifting and most nurturing I have done in my life. Really, as a mother, I want to make my son very proud of me. Hey, hi, I'm Roger Stewart, and I've been with the Thursday's Writing Collective now for about four years. And it's really helped my writing a lot. It's also helped me a lot get in touch with the downtown east side, which I've been involved with ever since I was 14 when I ran away from home. Being part of the downtown community or, or the Carnegie Center, it gives a voice and it's given me a really good idea of what, what, what it's like to be involved in community. Hi, my name is Amber Dawn and I am a local author from Vancouver. I recently wrote How Poetry Saved My Life, a Hustler's Memoir. And I'm here today to ask you to join me in supporting the Thursday Writing Collective. Hi, I'm Ellie Kralji Gardner. I'm the director of Thursday's Writing Collective. Thursday's Writing Collective is a group of more than 150 people from the downtown east side. We're novelists, short story writers, playwrights, singers, slam poets, activists, people who have one thing in common, which is the commitment to the page. We come from all sorts of different backgrounds, from all sorts of different histories and educational experiences. But we meet on the page. Every Thursday, we write for two hours in longhand. And what comes out of it are our published works. My name is Brenda Prince, AKA Middle of the Sky Woman. And I've been with Thursday's Writing Collective since the first class. Thursday's Writing Collective has given me the kick in the butt to write constantly. And I'm happy and proud to say that I'm now in the MFA creative writing program at UBC and I've won two scholarships this year. And I think you should fund us because we are very talented and we have unique voices and you will be entertained. Our seventh book is called Voice to Voice. We're going to spend the year writing about music and transformation, how it affects individuals, communities, the text as it moves from page to voice. What does that mean? Okay, we're working with UBC composers and we're working with performers. They're going to take our written words and turn them into classical compositions for voice and piano. We're gonna launch this at a performance in June of 2015. And we're gonna launch our book, Voice to Voice, that holds not only some of the writing we've done all year, but also the scores of the composers and the pieces that you'll hear. It's really important to publish our work because this gives us a book to take to our public readings and we get to exchange them with members of the literary community. Funding our book helps us reach other people. It helps us communicate and legitimizes ourselves as writers. Thank you so much for supporting Thursday's Writing Collective. Here's the way that you can do this. You can get on board with the Voice to Voice Project Indigo campaign. Any amount that you can contribute to this campaign will help. Our goal is $6,000, a very obtainable $6,000. Uh, so if you can afford to give, please do. Also, please share this Indiegogo campaign with friends, family, media, and anyone you think would fall in love with the Thursday Writing Collective, just as I have. We can't wait to share our writing with you. Thank, Thank you for supporting our campaign. campaign. supporting our campaign. We can't wait. We can't. No. <laughs> <laughs>